I pity the poor fools fighting the war in the north. Campaigning with our General Dwarren in the lands of Rune has been a pleasant experience. Yes, I miss the mountains and the smell of dead orcs, but the lands in the Far East are almost as beautiful as their women. <laughs> when the Golden Horde attempted to take our precious mountain by decree of the Dark Lord of Mordor, they most certainly did not expect the tide of war to turn so quickly against them. For soon we will be at Mistrand, and where the Golden Horde failed, the Iron Legion will succeed. The Easterlings fear Dwalin as much as we respect him, for he is a paragon of bloodshed, an avatar of Durin no doubt. During the Battle of Elgair, a band of Balchoth warriors ganged up on Dwalin, with shrieks and cries they rushed forth. But then, screams of pain and agony rent the silent air, and amidst the dying bodies, blood ran everywhere. There our general stood, expressionless, impassive, and alone, unmoved by his victory and the seeds of death he'd sown. The Easterlings tempted the axes of the dwarves, and now they shall feel its bite. Baruch Kazad, Kazad Aymenu. Greetings, my friends, and welcome back for the 11th episode of our Dwarves of Erebor campaign in 3rd Age Total War with AGO and, of course, Swan's Dwarven TLC mod. So, in the last episode, we had a pretty good defensive fight at Onar's Peak when the Goblins of Moria tried to uh, retake it, which was, of course, a very foolish endeavor. Uh, we also got some more reinforcements both in the fort to the south and over here at the Anduin Vale coming in. Our first batch of the King's units, which will be our mainline infantry for our future armies, at least it should be. Uh, besides that, we also had some fighting in the north. We unleashed our big black catapult and ballista, as the audio is a bit repeating for some reason. Uh, of course, the Blacklock engineers showing off their strength and immediately just pushing Angmar all the way to Kandum, taking Kandum, which is of course the capital of Angmar and is the main source of their troops, so this should really slow them down quite a bit. Um, I did also ask for a renaming for Kandum. It is a dwarven name, apparently, but I, I don't know. I don't like the name Kandum. I don't know why. And a naming suggestion that I quite liked was from Tom Romain, who is, of course, the very talented, uh, just general creative mind behind the Rise of Mordor, or Dawnless Days, as it's now called. He makes all the concept art, uh, he draws just all the art stuff, that's all Tom. So he's a very talented lad. Uh, he's also made some of the thumbnails, or at least uh, given me the resources for making some of the thumbnails in previous series. And he suggested the name Kori Doom, because Kori is apparently... It both sounds Japanese, and Kori, though spelled differently, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, is Japanese for ice. So it's Japanese, sounds a bit dwarvish, kind of means halls of ice in... Dwarvo Japanese, if that's a language. I just made it up, and I should add a space there. Kori Doom. I quite like the name of that. More than Kan Doom. I don't know why. I also like that it still keeps that K sound. So you have Kan Doom to Kori Doom. It sounds like we've liberated it, like Minas Morgul with Minas uh, Anor or Minas Ethel, you know. Just has a nicer ring to it. Anyway, uh, we are swimming in money. I also forgot to mention, of course, but that happened as well, that we uh, took some of the settlements near Rune. So, holding on to Elgair, uh, just kind of sitting there, waiting. We will hold it for a bit, so I guess we can take the time to... I'm not sure if culture is the way to go. I was more thinking armory, minus quarters. Mm, let's get a healer's post, maybe, just so Dwalin can maybe pick up some healer traits. Um, but the plan is very much to take Mistrand. Now, something that came to mind is that Naburka is a very good settlement to hold if you have trade rights with all the other settlements around the Sea of Rune. It's currently in the hands of Dorwinian, but perhaps I can trade some land, maybe not Elgair, but perhaps less if I take it, uh, to Dorwinian and in return ask for Naburka. But uh, that will happen when it happens. Uh, right, I think that's all I had to do, all I had to mention. Game feels a little bit laggy, not sure why. It's possibly the heat, because we're currently dealing with another heat stroke in Belgium. But I have taken my precautions this time. I've uh, pretty much just barricaded my windows. I just hang up like curtain. Well, I already have curtains, but I ha hung up some extra 
pieces of cloth and towels, etc., just to block out as much sun as possible. I very much feel like it's Wolf right now, just sitting in his dark, dank mine. But uh, it's very much necessary. Right. Off we go to the next turn. Turn 60, man. And we're only like 11 episodes in. So that kind of feels weird. That's only like six turns per episode. Typically, I don't know. It really depends, but with some factions, you're already much further ahead in turns when you're uh, so far ahead in episodes. But, uh, oh, okay, that's fine by me. Defensive siege battle with my Dwarven Catapult. Come get some. My voice might sound a bit different, because I did just come back from two days of music, two days of festival. Um, Locus of Faisten, which is a, a very Belgian thing. It's not known at all uh, around the world. Um, so the Numenorean Vengeance, unfulfilled. So it seems that the Ar Adonaim have gotten their Doomstack triggered. I'm also expecting the Angmarim Doomstack to have pop up at some point. Uh, though not yet, it seems. But yeah, lots of great music. Um, stuff that really stood out to me was Judas Priest. They're always good. Lamb of God, if you're into that kind of music, then yeah, very cool band. Um, also, Flogging Molly, if you're more into that kind of music. Anti-Flag, for those punk rock people. Um, yeah, that's just the music I like. Doesn't mean that other people like it necessarily. All right, let's pop up another watchtower closer to the border while still making sure that Gimli and his stubby little feet can make it back in time. There we go. Um, I want them to attack me at Mount Dwemer Hall, but they seem to pull back. Can I put a watchtower like right on the border there? Is that a ah wonderful? Okay, so there's one guy, or a couple guys, Uldrat. I'm also looking to do a counterattack on Kamath Brin. But yeah, it's always... I'm torn with Zakala, but with these lads coming in, I might be able to assemble an army. If I keep this fort relatively well stocked, then I don't need to worry about... I guess an army could come from Overtath to Onas Peak, but I'll know. So, I think we can prepare for that. Can I put my spy like to watch both the road and Overtath now? Or Kamath Brin, sorry. Hmm. Orkabal. That's a cool name. Um, I'm just thinking here, like, do I have enough troops? I'm not sure that I do currently. I got these. this guy coming in, but that's not going to make much of a difference. Captain Thror, I mean, it's something. Maybe Zakala is an easier settlement? It is an easier settlement to take, yeah. But I'm not sure if that puts me in more trouble. Hmm, this is difficult. Let's do some building first. Let's just let that thought sink in for a moment. And then look back at it later on. Right, uh, I got a bunch of lads here that I don't really need to be sending to the Eastern Front. The Eastern Front is doing... Fine, so you can go to Goblin Town, take the Northern Pass. And I'm looking maybe to invest in these great routes, just to speed up. Because this is a long stretch of road that troops need to walk past, right? And here as well. This is all Kirigathol, so if I can upgrade all of that, quite good. Then again, Army Barracks, more troops. Mm, I'm thinking maybe Army Barracks first, and five turns is not that long. And then we can get the roads afterwards. Alright, Dane's halls, not balls, but halls. Got the armor, so we can get army barracks there as well. Wonderful. Uh, good, 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 good. Nagathron got steelmongers, so we can get an armor there. And then later on, get barracks. Cory Doom got the brewery. Let's get the pub. Let's get drunk. And Elgar is on the siege, of course, but uh, we'll be fine. I could sally out, but I'm in the mood for a defensive siege battle. They're my favorite kind of battles. I think that's for most people. If you are in, you know, if you think otherwise, do let me know, actually, in the comments section, like, what kind of battles you prefer. But I think most people love to do a defensive siege battle, especially if you're, like, outnumbered, outgunned. We have a new general as well, Grimdal, who I will send to fight the goblins. Like, my most fond memories of playing Medieval 2 as a much younger little Izzy was holding out Jerusalem as England with, like, longbows against hordes of Mongols. The Golden Horde, etc. Like, those were some of the best memories I had. Uh, let's get some of these troops, yeah. The ones that are worth a damn, I'll take. Mm, 
I can't. Uh, I, I, I want to know where that army went. All right, Mr. Gloin. Pop down next to Watchtower in case they come from the north. All right, we'll take it a bit easy. We have been extending ourselves quite a bit, so we'll wait for come some reinforcements. Uh, I checked most of the settlements, yeah. So Edabot is still trading lads, left, right, and center. Good, perfect. We're getting more barracks. Military, we are climbing. Climbing the ranks. All right, the Winian is allying up. Great. I think that's everything. Do we have a mission? Yeah, we know the One Ring is there. Just making sure I'm not forgetting about mission. Is the One Ring still in the hands of Mr. Thranduil? Because that's good done. Yeah, it is okay. As long as it's just chilling in Thranduil's halls, maybe he doesn't know what it is. I doubt that, to be honest. Well, to be fair, Gandalf had to look it up, right? He wasn't exactly sure either, so maybe Thranduil is uncertain as well. Maybe he just thinks it's a golden ring? I do not know. I guess he'll know when Mordor starts showing up at his doorstep and being like, Hey, have you seen a golden ring? They start asking questions, and seeing as they started asking questions to us, that would make sense. All right, Movatarth then, okay. Ah, but that's a big army. I mean, I could just face him on the field, you know? We have Hammers of Gundabad. But... Before we do that, I would prefer to send over the siege equipment from Koridu, maybe some troops as well. Just so I have enough of a crew here to defend it for now. But then get some reinforcements down south. Mm, let's maybe do some, some merging of some troops. Let's see, you merge with them. Just so I have, like, a strong selection of lads. The strongest of the strong. How many is that? That's seven lads. How many can I add? One, two, three, four, five. But I'll need to leave behind some garrison, and these guys are also a bit whittled out. And I think I can go on. Yeah, let's bring those hammers. Unite all the hammers of Gundabad in one army. And let's take those longbowmen along as well. Uh, make sure we're not in range. Okay, no, we should be safe. And then they can join up, take down Wuftana, go for Morvatarth. Wonderful. And then maybe work together to take Hamad Brin as well. Alright. We got more troops inbound. Good, good, good. With the board, Steelmongers. Let's get an armorer then. Yep. Mirairon got the brewery. Let's get that pub. Are they still sieging me out? Yeah, we'll give them one more turn. If they don't attack me by then, I might have to take it into my own hands. Alright, Boruk Khazad! As the dwarves are running across the campaign map. <laughs> and at that point, I don't know. I might just try and buy Khazadoom or something. <laughs> Seems like a good investment, right? Inflation running rampant, everything's becoming incredibly expensive in the world, so maybe investing in Khazadoom is a good idea. Anyway, this is a lot of Easterlings. 4,000. More than 4,000. Lots of crappy units. We faced worse at Erebor. We have a catapult, we have a ballista, we have Abdus coming in as well. And Zartoshi, which still sounds like the name of a microwave brand, but whatever. Dragon's Wrath Guildsman, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of dudes, but eh, anything impressive, so... Pardon me if I am not too impressed by that, so, you yeah, know, let's defend Elgair, and I think this is going to be a massacre in our favor, but who knows, uh, maybe I'm being too greedy, maybe I'm underestimating them. Wouldn't be the first time. Alright, oh, boys and girls, and by that I do mean boys, as YouTube statistics tell me that 99% of you are lads. The 1% that is female is probably just Miss Izzy, who watches my videos sometimes. Alright, so there's a bunch of crew here, but they don't have any equipment, so sod them. And then on the other side, it's almost laggy with how many people are there. It's also very misty. I'm not sure why the runics wanted to go in like this. I guess attack me in the cover of night. These guys really look like cutthroats. Look at them. They look addicted to pipe weed. Look at this guy's face. Alright, so they're coming in with rams and ladders and a siege tower. Just fine. I can knock them off the walls rather easily. Uh, let's see here. How are we going to go about this? So I only need to worry about this side. The other ones can't physically come inside. I think I'll put... Dwarlin on this section of the wall. The longbows can go over here. 
Uh, we'll put some Matox. I think they'll do quite well. Oh, they're too big of a unit. Uh, have I got a smaller one? No. Then we'll just get some Metabot Infantry. They'll be fine. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, can I squeeze archers here? No. So I'm thinking Axe Throwers here joined up with the Murtox. So let's just group them up real quick, just so I know who's already on the wall. Catapult, not the best of positioning for you, unfortunately. Perhaps we can get some more to shot in. If I position you, like, over here, if that's possible. Come on, game. Cooperate. Work with me. Okay. Um, can I put them anywhere? Game. I hate this. Make the settlements bigger, developers, please. <laughs> Maybe I should play on smaller unit side, but that's not that fun. I want to have the huge units. Alright, guess they'll spawn on the town square, and then I'll have to push them forth, whatever. It's not the worst. Um, let's see. We'll put some axe throwers... Mm. Maybe on this side, so they can chuck at the side there. Um, and then we'll defend the wall here, or the gate, to be precise. But I really don't have a lot of movement. Yeah, not a lot of positioning space, which is most unfortunate. Put the archers behind. Alright. Uh, Cav, you'll also stay on the town square. Stonefoot Spearman. I guess I can put some troops like here to man the walls. Just so they can already like shoot at them and, and trigger the towers. They don't really need to fight because they're not going to come there, but if they stick to the walls, we can shoot them. Get some reinforcements here. Yeah, we'll figure it out as the battle goes along. Alright. Off we go. Alright, Ballista Catapult, just try. Alright, laddies. Baruch Kazad. Kazad Aymenu. And they dropped their ladders. <laughs> you know what? Let's not. Are they going all in on the gate or putting all their faith in the siege tower? Because I can knock that down with my catapult or my ballista, you know. Really not a problem. What's going on up here? Not a whole lot. Balchoth, Daritai, Mobalchoth. I love their beards, they got like pointy beards, very spiky. I wish I could grow a beard like that. But, uh, mm. sadly I am not blessed with good beard jeans. Why is it snowing in Rune? It's August, mate. It is quite odd to be playing on a winter map when it's literally like 30 degrees or something like that. I much prefer gaming in winter. It's just so much cozier, like, ugh. Honestly, that's one of my favorite just vibes. Especially when you have, like, comfort food gaming. You know, games like Stardew Valley or something like that. You know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't played Stardew Valley, you absolutely must. So I kind of want them to come on the wall. But I'd much prefer if my Iron Guard was there instead of Erebot Infantry. So if you can come down. Also, you lads... You need to be on guard good. Poor ruffians. 5% already, damn. Alright. Oh, you can actually go through that, okay. Just whatever you need to do, just get there. Keep up now. Is the unit size too big? Oh, That's probably the problem. Right, whatever, Iron Guard, you go down then. As I said, I can very much just use the catapult if I need need to. But I'd rather have them come on the wall, because then I can kill them rather easily. But the snow, I can't see anything. Alright, are they still standing there? I'm not sure how my archers are doing anything. They are still standing there. Uh, fight on the bodyguard if you can, weaken them a bit. This guy already took a face full of snow. Actually, fight on the Dragonrath to kill them. 100% worth it. Okay, they're coming down, but my lads didn't come up the wall like I asked them to. Come on, lads. Making me look like a fool. Snow isn't helping. I 
There we go. Up yours, Faroon mercenaries. Go back to whatever desolate wasteland you come from. Oh man, I cannot see a damn thing. Let's see how a mortar shot does against the siege tower. Just one shot, just to see. Watch me friendly fire at Wallen somehow. It's not impossible. I hope the snow passes soon, because it's probably not the most engaging uh, way to watch this battle. But I'm sure it will. Okay, I just wanted to do a test run. The siege tower is gone. And those poor Faru mercenaries are stuck, they're trying to rout, and they just they can't deal with it. Error does not compute. Alright then, guess we got some prisoners of war. Ruffians have also been absolutely destroyed besides the ones sheltering under the ram. They probably didn't even notice that. They're about to break down the gate and turn around and see everyone dead. Siege tower, just crumbled piece of paper. So sad. 13% is already down, damn. Not sure how I have lost 3%, but whatever. Uh, can we give them maybe another warning? They've already done quite a bit as a warning. So. so are they coming in full force? If so, you can go ham on the mortar shot. Oh yes, on the previous video I also got a comment by Swan, who is of course the man behind Swan's Dwarven TLC mod, um, about the Blacklock Siege equipment and what the difference is with regular equipment. The equipment itself doesn't differ all that much, it is as accurate as it can be, but you know, you can't make something that is already incredibly accurate more accurate, like, it's already pretty much at its limit. Damn, it's pretty epic to see this huge invasion coming in, we did hit some of them. Um, but the main difference is pretty much like with the troll catapults, the unit that's manning the equipment, them being black locks, being much stronger than your regular siege crew. Ah, yes, it's clearing up finally. Uh, so that pretty much just makes them much harder to knock off the catapult. If they try to fight me in melee, etc., then they can really stand their ground, just like my infantry is doing right now. I haven't taken anything, mate. Uh, so that's that's the main important difference, is the crew. And also another one, which is actually the most important, I should probably not under uh, undercut that, is that they have more ammo, which is quite useful. Not that ammo is going to be a problem in this battle, but still. Alright, so their lads are coming over now. So if we can just kind of trail along the wall, keep those towers fighting. See, that's how many troops already died just from us putting those lads there. Defeat seems almost so wait, whoa, how why is my iron guard dropping incredibly fast all of a sudden? Are they doing their weird shove through annoyance? The thing that really shouldn't be working at all. Look how dude, these guys have like 31 defense. They should not be dropping against Well against the Logan bodyguard possibly. Alright, guess I'll have to do some desperate measures. If I can do my ability, I must. Where is Dwarlin? Is he safe? He's relatively safe. I think that's Dwarlin here. Alright, Catapult. This is incredibly risky, but high risk, high reward, eh? Please don't hit my troops, or maybe only a few. If you hit just central... Oh my lord, that is a thing of beauty. It's so beautiful it makes my game lag. Oh, 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 oh. Pretty sure that's war crimes, mate. Yeah, they're running. They're like, holy crap. <laughs> Literally just meteors raining from the sky. These dwarves are cursed. We cannot win against them. You got them right, you can't. Alright. Okay, being a bit finicky probably with friendly fire. It's fine, it's fine. Friendly fire like crazy if you want. Well, not like crazy, but... But yeah, we lost a lot of troops all of a sudden because the AI just does their weird I'm just gonna shove my way through and kill everyone, which really shouldn't work, but then it does. Those Iron Guards should really not drop dead that fast. Uh, come on, Catapult, just do it. Stick with it. Alright. 
That'll give him some more survivability. Opening bodyguard, yeah, they are armor piercing, so I guess I guess they could go toe to toe with the iron guard, but everything else really cannot. Okay, here we go another meteor. Don't kill Dwalin. Do not kill Dwalin. Wonderful. Another one. Yeah, exactly. The black box can't exactly be more accurate than that. Ooh, for a moment I thought Dwalin died. Mass route, boys. Mass route. We haven't killed that general yet, though, but that's okay. Okay, the reinforcements are hit. Well, the first of them, the calf. The other ones will be much slower. Dwell, I'm going to pull you back. Just as a precaution. But these guys will probably also have really poor morale at this point. Seeing everyone else running. They just arrived and they just see the rest of that army. The main bulk of that army just running away. I'd probably start sweating at that point. To be like, er... Uh, the hell happened here? Hey, nice. That's one. I think there's three in total, right? Abdus, the microwave lad, Sartoshi, and... Forgot the name of the other one. Doesn't matter. Prisoner number one. I am not a number. I am a free man. That's probably the one from the main army, yeah. We haven't captured these lads yet. They've only just arrived. Catapult, I have a job for you. So, lads, if you can not mush around the gate too much, pull back a bit. Give them room to... Room to breathe. Room to breathe. Speech impediment is he strikes again. All right, Catapult. You don't have to worry about Dwalin this time around. He is relatively safe over here. Not sure why those bolts are having such a hard one for me, but... All right, if you can fight the Dragon's Wrath Guildsman or the Locating Bodyguard... Those shots are 100% worth it. But my catapult is a bit reluctant. So yeah, it cancels its order because I think friendly fire. I think it's like, I cannot do that. But you can. You must. You don't have a choice. I will keep spamming it until you complete your order. Are we good? Nah. Close. I'm trying to go for the ones that are furthest away from our troops. Alright, uh, what about those, those Arlat? They're quite far. Oh, huh? Are we doing it? They're loading, they're loading. Just do it. Do not cancel your order. I haven't been using my ballista, but the angle is just not good enough. Catapult will fire at least one shot. Yeah, okay. Two generals in one go. Calling it. Oh, they hit the top of the gate there. They still killed the ones underneath there. This catapult might just have gotten a lot of kills in total. I'm not exactly sure. It's kind of hard to tell when they... Oh, oh another one on the gate. When they're so clustered up, it's pretty hard to tell just how many kills they get exactly, but... A lot. You really don't have to worry about friendly fire all that much there. Come on. Let loose! They're getting very experienced though. Two silver chevrons already. That's quite a lot for a catapult. For siege equipment in general. Come on, lads. Alright, I'm gonna put you on fire at will mode, which is scary. I know some people are already thinking, why don't you just do it in the first place? Because right now I have no control over who he selects. He'll select someone, but I uh, Could be. Dangerous. Well, Dwalin is safe, so. Where is Dwalin? Is he hidden? Is he safe? Well. Geronimo, eh? Where will this land? I have no clue. Oh, not bad. Definitely made a crunching sound, so. Look how much death and decay. It's just a carpet of dead easterlings. Surely even the bodyguard must be thinking to himself, it's like, on the cursed breath, these damn dwarves. I want to capture all the generals ideally, but uh, let's maybe bring the cavalry already in. Is the catapult going to fight again? Thinking about it. That Logan bodyguard is fighting to the death. So we've taken Marwan. The enemy general flees like 
That's another one running. That dog barking was in game. So who's still standing then? So there's a Dragon Wrath kills me. It's probably the one general then, yeah. This guy. Zartoshi, no doubt. That seemed like a Zartoshi death to me. Obviously. Friendly fire! Yay! Thank you, catapult. You totally killed that out of infantry. Abdus. So we got them all then. There's no general among these lads. No? Okay. That's three generals down, and I think we killed more than enough of them. 39% will probably heal quite a few. 31! So that's uh, about one third of our army gone. Which is more than I thought, but they put up a good fight. They did their shove through bullshit, which is annoying. Let's see how many kills the catapult got. I'm guessing about 400. That's my guess. 532. Dwarven got 299. Really impressive there. 170 for the Dwarven Laborers as well. People underestimate the Dwarven Laborers, but they are really, really good. It just depends on who you put them against, but yeah. Alright, very nice result. Bit of friendly fire there at the end, but overall not too much friendly fire, considering we killed 500. That's less than 10% friendly fire. That's good. I'll take that. Right, we've defended Elgar and probably opened up the road to Mr. Hunt, I guess. Rightio. Wait, only two? I thought we got three. Did I kill one? Yeah, whatever. We'll execute them all. Yeah, they're all gone. I didn't see anyone escaping that. Mass grave of Easterlings. <laughs> oh, they're so pathetic. They are so pathetic. I really start feeling bad for them. I know, I know, I shouldn't. They really brought this upon themselves. They started this damn war. Oh, the Khan of Khan is dead. Oh, that's sad. I love Khan Arkish. I don't know why. I just really like him. Um. Right, so Mistrant is looking mighty ripe for the plucking. So, I'm not sure if there's anything stopping me. Or anyone. I can reach Mistrant. I'm just gonna be safe and use my cavalry. Bloop. And then all the ones can reach them as reinforcements. Uh, so, I think I'm just gonna go all in, right? And then give El Gair to deal. And you can actually already move quite far towards Skan. I don't know if I'll be able to reach Skan. Maybe Skan goes rebel so bad. I'll pick up some mercs and retake it. That's not a problem. Um, so let's talk to Dale. Oh, nice. The blue wizards are retaking Strulutsa Khan. Good. Dale. So I want Elgar for Skan. That's the plan. Hello, Ross. Do you want Elgar? And I want Scan. I love the name Scan. I don't know why. It feels like a scar in the land, you know, like a kind of mountain ridge somehow, even though it's not. But. Right, so now we got this chain over here. Scan. I'm actually not too unhappy. Yeah, we'll probably not make it in time, though. That's fine. We'll start with the brewery and take it from there. So now we don't have to worry about Mr. Hunt. As in, we can send in the full battalion, take the capital, and probably hold it for ourselves, in the combination with Nabirka, to stage our war against Mordor. So, uh, let's focus on that first. Uh, let's build first, and then we'll take Mistrand. Army barracks in Erebor, 100%. Let's already queue them up. Let's already start training them to use up that pool. Um, reason for... Uh, focusing on, on the Easterlings now is so I can make an intro dedicated to the Easterlings. <laughs> Possibly, I don't know. I don't always know up front what, uh, what I want to make the intros about. I always just kind of see what happens in an episode and then take it from there. Anyway, I can get barracks. My culture should be good enough. Yeah, great. Then I can start retraining lads. I can already retrain some of them. Uh, of course, we were also thinking of taking more Vatath here, but that army has gone right. missing. Where did they go? Cotton Eye Angmar. My spy always blends in with the background so well. Okay, so they're chilling near Movatath. So I'm just thinking if I place my troops near the bridge, maybe they'll try to attack me and I can kill them on the bridge. That seems like a bloody good time. But I need to make sure my army isn't too strong. 
I'm thinking maybe not bring Gloin along then. Actually, these guys can't reach the bridge. We'll have to do it in sections then. Alright. Um, see, my plan is to maybe not bring Gloin along to try and get a man of the hour. It's not like I need his troops all that bad. They're not that great. King's Axis, right? I already have a unit of them, so... We have Gloin at home. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Let's go for Mistrand. Why not? Come on. The Easterlings of Rune attacked our capital once. We crushed them, obviously. But our vengeance was not complete with us simply beating them. On our grounds. No, no, no. We had to beat them on their grounds. In their home. At their capital. At Mistrand. What they tried to do at Erebor, we will do at Mistrand. We don't need no second chances. We don't need no tries or attempts. We just do it. We see what we want. We take it. That's the way of the dwarf. The way of the short, stubby, bearded lads. It's much different than the way of Mistrand. The way of Rune. So they got some Lokin as Rim and some Southron defenders, which, mm, not too concerned about, mostly concerned about their defenses. Mr. Hunt is a Citadel, so it will have Ballista Towers, possibly multiple layers of walls, we'll have to see. I've got a Catapult, I've got a Ballista, I could wait for Siege Towers, Rams, Ladders, all that kind of jazz, but I think that's only risking me being out on the open. We haven't found Lokan Rukar, I think he's still alive, so he might have an army wandering about somewhere, maybe towards Mataram in the south. I'd rather not risk that. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna take it, and uh, we're gonna hold on to it for dear life. So yeah, let's start by taking it, and we'll take it from there. Alright, here we are. Look at that beautiful settlement. They got like, the blue domes, the blue nipples and the gold nipples. More gold nipples than blue nipples. I've got a silver nipple here as well, a smaller one than that. Alright. Oh, it's a very tiny nipple here. But judge not an Easterling by the size of their nipple. Judge them by how beautiful they die. So yeah, definitely Ballista Towers. I'm just kind of probing the best approach. Front has got a bit of this murder pocket here. Which isn't well, less so the case over here, but either way we'll have to take down four towers. So I'm thinking catapult for the towers, ballista for the gate. But honestly, it might be better to not do it like that. We'll start by taking down the towers. Um, and then we'll probably... We should have enough ammo left to take down the gate. Do bear in mind that our lads are significantly more accurate than your standard equipment. They might try to force like Loki and Azrim to charge out. I don't think they do. The AI is typically not that keen to do so, but we will not risk it. Right, uh, I probably need to put it on fire mode as well, because this regular shot does not damage the gate, so I assume the same applies to towers. And I'm not in the mood to test it. I cannot see the percentage damage from here, unfortunately. Almost half considering using mortar shot, because it is more accurate. Okay, those all hit. Doesn't Mortar Shot use the same ammo pool as regular um, shot? I think it does. I think regular shot and Mortar Shot is one ammo pool and then Scatter Shot is a different ammo pool. So, I think Mortar Shot will actually be better to take down the towers. We saw a Destroyer Siege Tower with 102 hits. It happened quite fast. I'm not sure if it was 102 that was necessary. But I think this might just be incredibly effective. Okay, that tower is already down with... Not too many hits. So that section is now safe to traverse. Right, hold on for a moment. Uh, is that a hit? That's a hit. Right, let's switch to regular shot. See if that's any better. And let's start taking down the towers of the gatehouse. So only one section of wall, luckily. It's not so much a military stronghold as it is a civil stronghold. Let's see how you fare from over there. And you can start taking down that tower. There was a time on this channel when Ballista Towers were my biggest enemy. When I just 
was too dumb to deal with them, but since then I've improved my gameplay quite a bit. It's quite funny for me to see, like sometimes someone comments on like an old video and then I just kind of maybe watch a bit of it or something. And I'm just always like, wow, Izzy, you're terrible. <laughs> so I very much want to expand the channel to other games, but I'm always like scared of that learning curve that I'll have to go through again, as I did with Dark. Like, you cannot compare my gameplay with the first Dark campaign I ever did to this Dwarven campaign, where I do consider myself quite experienced at this point. But then again, I guess learning is part of the charm, and I know some people prefer me being kind of poopy. Because this campaign is a bit of a... Uh, just a bit of a cakewalk. This tower is incredibly powerful, what? I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I'd love to see how much damage we've done. Just so I know I'm doing damage. So I move my calf close. I don't have any troops too close to that tower, so it probably shouldn't be triggered. It must be close to being destroyed. Alright, ballista's hitting them all head on. 91%, okay. So maybe I should have my ballista finish that off, not waste any ammo. That one's at 69, 80, 92, okay. So it's working quite well. I think we can destroy all of them and the gates rather easily. Oh, hurry up, Ballista. They've triggered that tower. Thank you, that should be sufficient. Yep, wonderful. Falling apart like my life. Oh, that one's already down, good. Boom, alright. Lads. I believe the city is ripe for the taking. The siege equipment, or the, the defensive siege equipment, I should say. The ballista towers are down. So let's knock on their front door. Or better yet, let's knock it down. Men of Dale, I'm so happy you have joined me today, all five of you. Three lads, middle management and upper middle management, so... Pretty nice of them to join, because they've also suffered, of course, by the hands of the Easterlings. It is your victory as much as it shall be mine. Knock, knock. <laughs> oh, those poor defenders are just watching. What do we do? Do we not have any bows? None whatsoever? They probably just start chucking snowballs. Alright, Catapult, I would love for you to just spray your scatter shot all over the South the vendors. It would do me, it would give me untold pleasure. There we go. Separate ammo pools, so that's still 100%. The angle's going to be a bit awkward. Let's try it like this, I don't want to push in too deep. It's going to be a bit tricky. We most will scatter off the gate, but I think we might, yeah, that's good enough for me. Actually, uh, let's see if we can get a bit closer. We'll probably have only one fighting though, because bottlenecks and all that. Oh, they're both going to try. <laughs> that synchronized sound of death. Hello. You gonna sit on the wall? Uh, who's shooting me? Oh, is it that tower? Really? It's a bit of a surprise. Um, actually, they're coming in with Loki Uh, Airborne infantry. I don't think we'll be able to get a volley off. No, pull back. Pull back, lads, pull back. Abandon your catapult. We'll pick it up later. Why are they not dropping that catapult when I'm telling them to withdraw? Typically, that's when they drop the catapult. Even when they get attacked, they drop the catapult normally, but the one time they should drop the catapult, they don't. This is my curse. At least they'll be the first to heal, I guess. I'm not just sure why they're ignoring my commands. It's really quite annoying. Alright. Yeah, I really do hope we get that unit back, but I'm going to be salty, because that's my pride and joy, my catapult. You don't come between a man and his catapult. That's, that's going to unleash the inner John Wick in me. 
You took my catapult, prepare, and now you withdraw. Absolute donut. Messy fight. Surprised they're coming out. Didn't expect that, as you can tell from my positioning. Well, I do have the list, though. Could maybe do some funny stuff with that. I mean, Loki and Azrim are strong, but... That's simply too many of us. Destroy the catapult. Don't let them take it and use it against us. <laughs> Imagine if that was a thing. Oh, that would be problematic. The Southron defenders aren't bad, though. Should not underestimate them. There we go. Nice. Good. Destroy it. <laughs> there we go. Very cinematic. You shall not use our siege equipment and use it against us. Shall be no such thing. Alright, axe throwers, do what your name entails. Throw those axes. Yes. Rukar's right hand man. Okay. 13%. That's more than I'd like, to be fair. But whatever. I'll chill in Mr. Rand and wait until they can actually like, retrain lads, etc. We'll get the culture up. We'll get those. I'll probably already have an armor, so. Can we make the most out of that? We don't need the advanced armor as dwarves, of course. We build it ourselves. Because there's literally nothing we can learn from other races. Maybe the High Elves, but they're the only ones. Don't even bother with the other elves. Just don't. Alright, fire in this big clump of units. Oh, it's 50% of the defenders are just clustered up in there. That is a lot of them. But maybe we can get a route going, although they all seem to have pretty high morale still. Fools. <laughs> Do you really think there was any hope for you? Oh, they're doing their shove through. This is when I need my ability. That does cancel the shove through quite well, because they get in a bad position and then we lower their combat effectiveness, rendering them effectively useless, but in deep shit. And with chip, I mean, I mean dwarfs. They're in, in deep with the dwarfs, is what I'm trying to say. As I struggle to say anything at all. Come on, ability! Get off cooldown! My general is getting in the area. Good timing. And now we finish him. More than enough. Dwalin is safe, right? He's getting hit a bit, but... Surely a couple of Southron boys are not gonna deal the killing blow against good Lord Dwalin, the meanest fighter of all Erebor, to be honest. Possibly Gimli, but it's quite a toss-up between those two who has the biggest kill count. Actually, no, it's not a toss-up. Gimli has the biggest kill count. Those Ags God of Erebor are mean. But Dwalin has probably taken the biggest beating. I think he's definitely been more in the front, whilst Gimli was more in the back. Anyway, let's see if I can get my catapult crew back. They're just wounded. They tried to run, but someone hurt them. Uh, catapult, 51 losses, healed 49. Okay, so they're effectively back. Good. The only ones who didn't get back were the ones who died to friendly fire. Look at that. 24 casualties and they killed close to 200. Incredible. Alright, well, the blue, silver, and gold nipples of Mr. Ant are now ours. Glorious. Wonderful. Give it to me. Right, lads, well, you know what to do. We're going to rename Mr. Hunt, obviously. To also, I should probably clarify this. If you've given me a naming recommendation in the past and I haven't used it, feel free to reuse it, right? It's because I don't use it doesn't mean I don't like it. Just meant for that specific settlement, I liked another name a bit more. But there were a very, like, a bunch of cool names I saw for Khan Doom, um, for Goblin Town as well, that I didn't end up using. But, yeah, keep them coming if you uh, think it might fit Mr. Hunt, by all means. Right, let's occupy it so we can use the people in our favor. Uh, repair the walls so we can use them in our favor. And let's start teaching them about dwarven beard and revelry. Is there any culture at all? That'd be kind of funny. No. 1% Northmen, 99, 98% Middle East. So what's the other 
Uh, 1%, I can't count. What is it? I have to know. Catholics. Damn Catholics. Uh, right, that's Mr. Untaken. Wonderful, and it's already all watchtowered up. That is great news. I'd love to take less, but that's going to be a bit hard. Poor Root really got the short end on the stick. 62 turns in and they're effectively completely neutralized by one Dwarven army that's still running at half strength, roughly. <laughs> wow. Sucks to be a you. Oi, Captain. I'm a little bowfoot. I've never in my entire dark life... Wait, I cannot pass through here? I cannot pass through here? That's so annoying. Um, I didn't think I ever heard the Dwarven Sailor or the Dwarven Admiral talking. And now he's talking a little bit too much. Yes, yes, okay. Conqueror of Mistrant, wonderful. Right, can you... Shut up. S shut up! Stop! Leave me alone. Oh, I'm just going to ignore you. La la la. I think he stopped. Um, so reinforcements are coming in. Grimdal. It's quite a grim name. Team up with them and then I'll have enough firepower to move towards Kamat Brin. Um, I also have enough firepower to take Morvatarth. What's stopping me at this point? Nothing. The only thing stopping me is how, I, how long I want these episodes to be. That's the one thing being the bottleneck. <laughs> Alright, you lads, can you actually go to the south as well? That would help me out. And where else did I get some troops? Uh, Erebor, I think? Yeah. Uh, keep training them, though. We'll try to build up a sizable army before we send them out this time. Yeah, you can already move. Uh, Onazanar also got some troops. Ooh, quite a few of them, actually. We'll leave the laborers behind for, I don't know, no good reason. Doing labor, I suppose. Ah, yes. This is finally the time where I can use my big budget to actually get troops. The bottleneck was always being able to train the troops, could always afford them, could always use them, just didn't have the opportunity to train them. But now, many opportunities are uh, presenting themselves. And the great thing about playing as a dwarf is, yes, your troops take a long time to get, but once you get them, they stick around. Also, Scan is not... Oh, never mind. I was about to say not too unhappy, and then they went ahead and did that. Can I get cavalry? I can. Can I then take that cavalry, who has much higher movement range, to get there? That might solve my problem. At least they'll arrive one turn quicker. Also make use of the time to pop down some watchtowers. Can I attack at Mistrant? No. No Doomstack, even. So that means Rune holds both Lest and Mataram, and then uh, these settlements down south, possibly the one near the river here as well. Maybe even the ones around here. Hmm, interesting. Alright, Mount Wemmerhold got the pub, so culture should be improving. Oh yes, 32%, but let's not stop there. Let's get the Feast Hall, as that also reduces our building cost. As pointed out by Inarian, I guess a possibility of construction being cheaper when you got a feast hall, is that the dwarves are too drunk to uh, make a good contract. Dwarves love their contracts, as seen in The Hobbit, of course. But if they're too drunk, then their contract, they probably, we can kind of trick them into accepting a, an easier deal for us. And I like that thinking. It's a backstory I can get behind. Right, um, Morvatarth, have I got time for this battle? It's a bit of a crazy one. I think, what I'm thinking is, perhaps I can lure them across the bridge. Because if I attack them from the bridge, actually it's not going to be a bridge fight, right? Because it takes, it takes the tile of the defender, doesn't it? It does lure out more of a Tarth garrison as well, which is nothing crazy. Got some Iron Crown units. All these buildings are destroyed as well, so they've recently been in a battle, it seems. And it seems Angmar is too poor to repair them. That would be quite good. I find that odd, but right. Do you want to go? Want to go crazy? I got good troops, right? I got black locks, engineers. I got iron fist hammers. I got black lock siege equipment. 
I got three whopping units of hammers of Gundabad. And their troops, there's plenty of them, and some of them are genius, like the North Guard, uh, sorry, the Guardians of Khan Doom. The North Guard are the same units put on foot. Um, but most of them are utter trash. Ah, let's go for it. No one's ever won a campaign by being a little bitch, right? Someone in the comments will probably be like, oh, that guy won a campaign by doing absolutely nothing. Possible. Um, right, uh, save. Again. Do this battle. Probably the last one of today, because I think I'm already going to go over time, but whatever. This is going to be a fun one. Alright, so no bridge, as I thought. Um, seeing as we take the, um, the map location of where the defender is, but that's okay. It doesn't make a big difference. I mean, a bridge would be nice. I do love me a good a good bridge battle, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. For some reason, the Ballista Crew is my captain, which was odd, but I guess a relatively safe captain to have. I can deploy stakes, which I will do. I have no cavalry. They've got wargs. I think my yeah my hammers are going to can also deploy stakes, so I can actually put down quite a few stakes. And if they run into them, well, that would be quite the mistake. <laughs> I hate myself. Um, right, infantry, accept the hammers of Gundabad, because if I move you, you'll also move your stakes. How do I want to go about this? Um, let's see, I've got troops that can set up defensively, like the King's Shields. That's the first we're seeing them, I think. Is that a very defensive unit? Uh, I think they've got like 30 defense or something. 24, okay. But 30 in armor, 5 shields, 6 defense skill tanky. Much more so than the King's Axis. Um, so I'm thinking them in the front alongside Erebor Infantry, Stonefoot Spearmen. The kind of units that can deploy a good old shield wall will be my shield wall. That's quite a few of them, so that's quite a strong position. Uh, we'll put the Matox and the Iron Hill lads over there. Uh, you guys over there. Joined by you. Ruffians. Um, on the flank as well. I want the hammers to be here. Or the axe throwers, I should say. Hammer throws would also be quite cool, to be honest. Um, and then daily and longbows I'll put behind, as they can shoot over the troops. Catapult or ballista, I will put you in front. You fire at will. You also fire at will. You can go more to shot. Why are your stakes not deployed? Everyone else... Stakes deployed. Yeah, okay. Go, go, go. We will move the hammers of Gunnabad right away. I'll keep the Blacklock Engineers in the front for now. I think my ballista can fire over them. Yeah, they're quite short. And once they get in range. There we go. Oh, already fired in. That's a quickie. Battle might go quicker than I thought if they just immediately rush forth right into my stakes. I think these, yeah, they're all skirmishes, so they're not actually going to run into my stakes, I don't think. They're going to try to. Oh, you are the most annoying little ballista friend. Mm, not sure what they're trying to hit. If we can take down that ballista, that'd be best case scenario, pretty much. Because they are quite annoying me. Come on, walks. Come on, I was so close. That's okay, some of my black locks will die. That's fine, they'll be the first to heal as well. Ah, oh, they're so close. It's a nice shot. Yeah, that siege equipment is wreaking havoc on me, but my siege equipment is doing so much more. 2% for 4%. Double as much. Yeah, one ballista. I was hoping you could take down their ballista rather easily. That seems to not be the case. I should probably have put like ruffians more in the front so the walk skirmishes would use their ammo on them, but whatever. It is not the end of the world, is it? Come on, yes, we've taken down one ballista, good. You are more inaccurate than I thought you'd be. Keep hurling rocks. 
Forward for six is not as good as I want it to be. How many more javelins have you got, mate? Too many. Far too many. How long do we have to wait? I don't know, man. It's not going as well as I was hoping it'd be going. The ballista crew should already be long gone. Perhaps I'll have to do some dangerous maneuvering. Alright, well, maybe not. Alright, so they're coming in with their orc hunters, which that's quite annoying, but I'll send forth one of my infantry to actually just stop them from doing that. Nice shot from the mortar there. Wonderful. Allons-y, let's go. Continue. And switch to grape shot. They want to have a go. We'll give them a go. They're not waiting for their reinforcements, which is most foolish. Let's fight on my stone foot spear. Like. That does not matter. What matters is this catapult that is about to absolutely rain hell upon the pikemen and other assorted troops. Here we go, lads! Fine red mist, I'm not exactly sure where they're firing, but that's okay. Oh crap. It's okay. The king's axes can hold. For the king! Ah, uh, shield wall. Brace! Yes, we, I think, slowed down their charge with our very late timed shield wall. Oh, we're getting some routing. We probably won't be able to kill all of them, though, because we don't have cav. Oh, this is a beautiful display of destruction going on around here. This poor pikeman. <laughs> Should probably get out of formation. Nice. A fine red mist takes you Get back on your ballista, Captain. You're not done until I say that you are done. Oh, no, 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 no. Just admiring the hammers of Gundabad absolutely chasing off the enemy. But there's so many hammers that they're combined because they induce fear, right? And that all combined just leads to the enemy just shitting their pants because there's so many of them. I think they stack. So we've killed 38%. We've lost 15 though. Like, where did those 15 Only come from? The enemy force remains. Very nice. Keep running them down as much as you can. But don't get too greedy because there's still another army out there. Mm, that charge will not suffice. Come on, take down the ballista. I really thought you'd be better at the anti-siege equipment stuff. Look at these guys. I really like that they all have like, or most of them have like white hair, so I just assume them to be actually like really old lads. Real just dwarf veterans. Guys who have seen many battles. Only a few of them have like slightly, like this guy here, brown Beards, lighter beards. Oh, sorry, darker beards, not lighter. The opposite. I'm becoming like my mum. She always does that. Say something, but actually mean the opposite. And in her brain, it makes sense, but everyone else just needs to follow along. Oh, now I know what it feels like. 80 to 50 percent. 50%? Really? It should be much more than that. There we go. Welcome to the club. Oh, the music's popping off. Alright. I have no qualms running in against them. Even the garrison of Morbatath. 
It's just a village, so it doesn't even delay us much if we uh, have to kill another garrison. Does not delay me really at all. They keep running, trying to come back, and they see my hammers of Gundabad, and then they're like, oh yeah, that's why we ran away in the first place. I think this music is from Darkest Dungeon, actually. That's what I know it from. Pretty sure it's from that game. It does fit Angmar quite well. And that's where the reinforcements of Morvatarth proudly marching in, being like, Alright, lads! And they just see the orcs running away, everyone else running away. Get out of here! These dwarves are crazy. Being chased. That's such a funny scene. I'm all running away and the doors is giving chase to them, running into another army, just slaughtering them along the way as well. When in Angmar. <laughs> Alright, that is. Let's get down and dirty. Who does savages? That's their shock infantry. This is my shock infantry. Yours is a 686 unit, and mine's a 16733. But you got me beat at the charge bonus, I'll grant you that. That's about all I'll grant you. <clears throat> Glorious. Maybe biting off more than I can chew. Being a bit greedy with my troops, but that's okay. I feel like a manly man today, so I'm gonna play like a manly man. Hell yeah. Why do I feel like Hulk Hogan? I don't know why. The cream will rise to the top. For some reason, 80s wrestling does remind me of the doors of Edward. There's many similarities. Nice volley from the catapult, but I'm not gonna keep up with it. Keeping up with the black locks. The reality TV show you've all not been waiting for. Storm them, lads! Storm them! Give them no quarter. Take their quarters. Steal their lunch money. Oh, you want to have another go, savages? I guess that's what makes you savage, eh? A lack of intellect. Let's try to at least get most of the garrison of uh, Morvatarth. If I can get those iron crowns out the field, then that would be good. Alright, let's start chucking those axes, eh? Someone's shooting me. You bastard. You don't shoot the axe through us. We shoot you. Prick. Alright lads, I think we've reached the end. Yeah, there we go. Run them down a wee bit longer. Just to see if we can kill anyone. We've already taken 500 prisoners. Lost 30%. We were up against a big army though, so... I'm okay with it. Might still be enough for a man of the hour. But we'll probably still have to do a Siege of Morvatar to actually get this element. There we go. 608. A quarter. Compared to how many they lost. They weren't that outnumbered, actually. It's just they had so many skirmishes and made it annoying. Catapult, 433. Wonderful. Lost a lot of the engineers, but they also healed quite a few, so... Who else did we lose a lot of? Oh, Stonefoot Spearmen and Dwarven Labors. That's not that bad, actually. Most of my quality troops are very healthy, and they're easily replaced, so... No, I don't really see any problems with that. The Etten Moors have been cleansed, and uh, next episode we'll probably start with uh, us claiming Morvatarth, eh? Wonderful. Right, yo, don't even think about it. <laughs> Man of the hour? Hey, wonderful. Captain Foldy, welcome to the ranks. Where are you? What is your. You're a long beard. Okay, so you're Durin's folk. Good. I always want to know which clan they belong to. Look at this happy lad. He's so happy to be here. Oh, I love him already. Foley, I hope nothing ever bad happens to you. You are a oh, glorious man. 
Alright, uh, can we already lay siege to it? We can, wonderful. Um, so that will be for the next episode. So, yeah, quite a good episode, I'd say. We pushed back the uh, the runic attacker at Elgair, uh, then took the initiative, took Mistrand from them, which is quite big. Uh, besides that, just kind of gathering more troops. Pretty big battle at Angmar here that we won quite handily. So the road to Movatath is open. Which all the people have mentioned that I should probably keep it, so I will. Kamath Bryn also looking more and more ready for us to take with more reinforcements coming in. Grimdal coming in here with some quality troops. Catapult, Hammers of Gunnabad and Sons of the Fallen. That's all you really need. So we can probably assemble quite a good army there. Barracks is also being retrofitted to fit our Dwarven needs. Uh, so yeah, besides that, when I speak, got some retraining done, Mistrant as well, and some new troops at Erebor. We'll keep training over that until I got a full army, and then I can maybe send them on the boat towards Mordor. We'll see. But uh, yeah, things are still going quite well in the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. I had a great time the past hour, roughly. Hope you did too, and I hope to catch you soon for episode number twelve.